Hey everyone, it's Chris Portillo from the City of Downey Parks and Recreation, and today you're going to be learning the major scale. Okay, and before going into it, uh, let me explain what a scale of notes is. So a scale is just a sequence of notes, like strung together. So if we have like the pentatonic scale, we have, those are the notes corresponding in that scale. In the major scale, we have these notes that are corresponding in the scale. And this is just so you can really start soloing, really starting to sound like a guitarist. All right, so I'm very excited to jump into the major scale today. Uh, if you know guitarists, people like Ezra Koenig from Vampire Weekend use the major scale. Uh, Jerry Garcia, one of like the greatest guitarists of all time from The Grateful Dead, uh, used the major scale. And you know, you just make some beautiful, beautiful art with it, and it's 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 just so amazing. Like if you know, like Saint Stephen, it's. Uh, But yeah, just a myriad of, of songs and gorgeous art out there using the major scale and the mixolydian scales. It's very great. Uh, but for today, uh, we're just going to begin uh, on it because there's about s there's six there's six or seven. It's it's it'll it'll start repeating. Um, but there are six major parts to the major scale, and we're, we'll go ahead and break them up into various videos. But today, we're just going to be learning the uh, first position of the major scale. Uh, with that all being said, we're gonna go ahead and zoom in and let's get this lesson started. So the very interesting thing about this scale is even if you have never like done music before, like uh, played or anything like that, you know about do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. You know about like the arrangement of notes and the major scale follows that exactly. So we're gonna go ahead and our first note is going to be played uh, with our middle finger and that's gonna be played on the second fret of the low E string. Remember, the notes corresponding to the strings here are E, A, D, G, B, and the high E or Eddie, a dynamite good by Eddie, if you want a, a device to help you remember. Uh, but our first note is gonna be on the second fret of the um, low E string. You're gonna go ahead and play that note. And the second note, we're gonna go ahead and go up a measure. With our pinky, we're gonna play uh, the low E of the um, fourth fret. So if you can hear it, do, re, do, re. The next uh, note that comes in, we're gonna play with our index finger and that's gonna be on the first fret of the next string or the A string. So, so far we got do, re, mi. The next note, we're just gonna plant our middle finger down right next to it on the second fret of the A string. And then the next one, we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with our pinky on the fourth fret of the A string. So what we got is do, re, mi, fa, so. Do, re, mi, fa, so. All right, so the next one, we're gonna go ahead and shift down a string to the D string, and it's gonna start the same. We're gonna, with our uh, first finger planted on the D string of the first fret. And instead of using our middle finger, we're gonna go ahead and use our ring finger on the third fret. And then to cap it all off, the pinky comes in again. So 
So right now we have everything. We have do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. So we have that, and it's gonna start over. So do, uh, this are, and I should mention this, uh, that these are your root notes. Wherever do is, that's your root note. So this one right here where we started, and on the fourth fret of the D string. With that being said, let's start over. Let's find our re. So do, re, it's going to be on the first fret of the G string. And like this, like the, like the um, string we played above, this next string is going to be exactly the same. All right. So all together, so far, I'll go very slow, we have... Root note, always be mindful of your root notes. Next, we're going to go ahead and plant our middle finger on the second fret of the B string. End it with our pinky. So, we just played. So do re mi fa so la ti do do re mi fa so la ti do. So from here, from the from the B string, we're gonna go to the high E and plant our first finger on the first fret. Plant our second finger on the second fret. Now that's the end of the do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, but of course it just re-goes. And to cap off the major scale, or the first position of the major scale, your pinky. So all together forwards. So basically, uh, that's the major scale, and you can start having a lot of fun with that. So that was the major scale, or that was the first position of the major scale. This is the first video of around six that we're gonna do for the major scale. Uh, so make sure you catch that one after this is uploaded. Uh, but you know, this is just so you can really start, like throw on a Grateful Dead backing track and just really just have fun with it really play around with it um it's it's you're really gonna find that you'll start uh learning the board better once you like all like all the notes in the board uh where they are if you really start playing your scales soloing all of that uh but thank you so much for watching as always we really appreciate it here uh, now we want to see you. I want to see you playing like Jerry Garcia uh, out there. So make sure you upload your videos uh, so we can see. Make sure you hashtag Downey at home. Uh, and yeah, have a good one. Take care. See you next time.